Have you ever felt overwhelmed by all the apps out there that are claiming to revolutionize your productivity? Here's the thing. Not every tool really does fit every person. Maybe you've tried Notion, one of my favorites, the powerhouse of customization, only to find that it is uh, a bit overwhelming. I've noticed this a lot when I onboard people onto my team. Definitely a lot going on. And you might be curious about other products that are out there. One of them being x is a great alternative to Notion. It's fresh, visually driven, and makes waves in the productivity space anytime I bring it up. That's how much pull I got. If you're a visual thinker, a Gen Z multitasker, or just someone tired of fighting with rigid setups, I'm really excited to show you what makes x and Notion different. So thank you x for sponsoring this video, and let's dive right into it. So first, Notion is a really great product that is super flexible. It's widely popular for knowledge management, project planning, and pretty much anything else. People love that you can create custom workflows. I've made a million videos on this channel about it. Okay, a couple hundred, but still. The main issue that I find is that it's not really beginner friendly. And like I said, when I onboard team members, they get a little confused. And what I really like about x though, is how it makes planning intuitive. It's designed for those people who prioritize ease of use and creativity over complex customization, offering a visual first approach that's appealing for thinkers who need simplicity. So it's really great for users who need an intuitive layout. And x takes a visual first approach, letting you drag and drop tasks, notes, and media tiles in a way that feels natural. Meanwhile, Notion's database driven structure is ideal for those people who want power and flexibility, though it may require a significant amount of time to fully understand. Like for me, I've built out an entire navigation hub and client management system inside of my Notion, and it's awesome for my team. But the fact of the matter is I've actually spent like hundreds of hours on this in order to make this happen. And I appreciate it and like it for what it is. But yeah, there's uh, there's a lot going on here and I really put in a fair amount of work to get this built out. What's really great about X-Tiles is that it is so easy to use, but not only that, there are a bunch of different straightforward templates that you can easily get into. Uh, they're ready to use. You can pick from different categories here as well, which is really nice. As you can see, this one's for personal life, productivity, popularity, education, really cool. And you can have my own templates, purchase templates, and favorites. As well. I love the fact that you can also change the styles of these tiles. So these are cool. Uh, you can go to this brush right here and you can see you can change the style of it. So kind of what is the orientation of this? You can add a icon right here. So I can add a star over here. I can change the size or whether it has a title at all. I can change this style like I can make it a different format completely and then change the color too. So I want to make the priorities like in uh, red to make it pop more. See, it's much different than it was before. And you can even add collections here, which is cool. Let's say, for example, I wanted to as well, I can add images and media. Like say, for example, I have to add a Google Ads campaign or work on a Google Ads campaign. Add this media here, which is cool. So there's a lot of different customization you can do here. And this is much more flexible than Notion. You can't really change the style this much. Sure, you can change some colors and whatnot, but there's not even custom colors in Notion. You know, like this, this is absolutely changeable saturation and hue. Yeah, not even a thing that you could dream of doing inside of Notion. Like look at this add color and it's not on your palette. That's crazy. And here's the thing. You can add more templates and more pages right here. So it's a lot easier to create templates in this system, right? Because you have this ability. So let's go here and you'll see we can add new collections and this is going to make my own productivity solution. So I'm just going to go here and you can see I can actually pick a recent template, which is cool. Um, if I just made a blank page, though, I could then click on this and get more templates. I could search like a monthly planner and I could have it pre-filled or use the template as well and add it to this existing project, right? And then I could keep adding more by press templates and add it to the existing project. Uh, let's add a couple more. So like a book tracker, I like this one on the right. And as you can see, we're filling out a full workspace here, right? We're filling it out. I uh, like recipe book for cooking. Let's add more. Let's go to templates. Let's go to goals. 2025 is already coming. It's crazy. Let's add some more a vision board per se. That would go well with goals, I think, too. And then last but not least, let's add a habit tracker. And by the way, I just want to point out this is not lagging at all. It's like really quick and snappy. Notion, super slow. Um, so as you can see, clicking through all these, these are the different sort of pages in a setup that was created in seconds. I mean, like less than a minute for sure. And this would have taken so much more time in Notion. And this is way more customizable too. I mean, this took me like two minutes to figure out what I wanted in my productivity workspace. And I can make some more tweaks, make it my own with those different changes I showed you. And it'll be a lot more custom. It's way more convenient than learning how to build in Notion because to get something even close to as custom in Notion, you have to really know what you're doing. In this case, 
Very simple. And I do want to call out something very important. When you're dealing with the tasks here, you can actually see on your mobile app that it's going to be synced seamlessly from your desktop. And this is important because uh, one of the big gripes with Notion is that it just loads super slow and especially on mobile because it's not a native mobile app. It's very frustrating. I can't stand it. I barely use it now at the moment because I'm just upset with it. I also know we talk about how I don't go on my phone much, but like in a crunch, I want to use it. But and then at the same time, I don't end up using it. So that's why I think X tiles would be good for a lot of you who want something snappier on the go that's synced up. If I go here to this weekly planner and I go to like Wednesday, for example, or let's say Friday, I'm going to say uh, get groceries for dinner date. If I click on this and say set it to Friday, you'll notice it'll pop up in my tasks, not for today, but for the future when I click on upcoming. There we go. It's for Friday, which is tomorrow, as you can see. So I can add it here. This is my today view, which shows all the general tasks that aren't assigned to a date or the ones that are for today. And then this is anything upcoming. You can also sync tasks with Google Calendar, which is really cool. Uh, this is something that Notion does not have. It has a very specific thing that a lot of people have wanted inside of Notion for a while. Sure, there's Notion Calendar, but there's nothing quite like this. So if I go here, see so where it says Calendar, you can do allow Google Calendar access. And if I connect this to my account, then I can pick what calendars I want on here. So I'm just going to show my meetings and my general task calendar. All right. And if I go to calendar here, you'll see that it'll sync with this. So you can see what meetings I have and my task is on here. The take out the trash one, which is really cool. Don't have that built into Notion itself, do you? But if you're not looking for anything that complex and you just want stuff like this, that also has that layer of like due dates and whatnot, this is something better. Like the fact that I can write on this more visual page is going to be better for some people than others. And you'll see that there's a lot of options here for things like this, like habit trackers that show it all across the board, a weekly dashboard that's a little bit more advanced than the previous one. All of these are just great options for building out what you think would be a great view. I actually have a whole video on the best ADHD apps, which I do recommend you check out. This is a great tool for, for that. And I think the video does serve as another great representation of the product. Something I really like about X tiles as well is the fact that there's all these different tab options and project options because you don't want to get too overwhelmed, right? Having project based layouts like this and section based layouts like this are awesome. You could even use Tiago Forte's setup, which could be the PARA method, which is projects, areas of responsibility, resources and archive and just separate them into different sections like this. And you could have all of the different subsections and tabs created like this with a bunch of different views like galleries, boards, calendars, tables, timelines, and forms. This makes it so that you don't have to take a smaller scale project and put it into an overwhelming space. And if any of the different areas need sort of subsections, that's the great thing here too. You also have groups inside of this, which are all able to be color coded, moved around, ungrouped and archived. I'm a huge fan of the way that the colors pop on this product. It's definitely a visual and customizable setup for anyone's brain. This makes the system that you're working in feel much more personal. So if you want to organize more areas of life, such as work, education, or dedicated travel slash trips with the team, you can create new projects and manage everything within X tiles. Now, when it comes to pricing, uh, obviously this matters a lot to people. The pricing has to make sense. So, so let's break it down really quick. First notion is something that is really great and they have a awesome free plan with unlimited pages and blocks uh, with a five megabyte file upload limit. But if you're looking for a bit of a higher level, you have to pay actually about $10 per user per month to add unlimited file uploads and 30 day pages for even larger teams. The business plan is $15 per user per month. Now this actually used to be $8. So they have raised the price again, which is unfortunate, but they continue to add features, but I wanted to call that out. What's great about X tiles pricing is how accessible it is for individuals and small teams. The free plan offers unlimited blocks, very similar. While the plus plan is at $8 per user per month when built annually and adds Google integrations and support for up to hundred guests. So that's a little bit cheaper, even on the yearly plan for the monthly plan is a little bit more for, for notion and same for X tiles. So you got to figure out what works for you, but X tiles is a little bit cheaper. So I hope this gave you a good overview of both products. Try out notion, definitely try out X tiles. And thanks again for sponsoring in this video. You can get started for free and it is going to have an extended free version as well. In the productivity landscape, you can find a lot of more expensive products than this. So with having much less guests and at a higher price, definitely try out X tiles, even though Notion is a great option pricing wise alone worth taking the effort to check it out. Keep it simple. Thank you so much for watching this video. Appreciate each and every one of you hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.